Global climate change didn't cause the wildfire in Hawaii, but did contribute to creating the conditions that helped the fire spread so quickly with such deadly results. Climate change exacerbates the extremes. So you have more frequency of floods and droughts. Even in lush Hawaii, higher temperatures have meant vegetation is getting drier. In the weeks before the wildfire, drought conditions developed on Maui. When you have higher temperatures, um, you have more evaporation of water. And also, you can think of it as plants being thirstier, so plants use more water when the air temperature is higher. So the water that is present um, tends to disappear more rapidly. Once the wildfire began, conditions were ideal for the flames to spread. So you have dry vegetation that is, when there's a spark, it's easier for that vegetation to ignite and for the wildfire to spread. Um, climate change in many parts of the world is increasing, um, increasing vegetation dryness. It's not likely the global community will reverse the impacts of climate change in the short term. So in Hawaii and other vulnerable areas, communities may need to make changes to accommodate the evolving climate. For wildfire mitigation, that may include building structures more resistant to fire and better managing plant life. Bigger investment in managing these fuels, reducing the fuels, doing fire breaks, things like this, fuel breaks around these communities, which are actions that need to be taken months in advance of these kind of bad fire weather conditions that we're seeing. In the years to come, more communities will likely experience dangerous wildfires driven by global warming. Maybe not next in the next decade, but over the next hundred years, wildfires in areas where we traditionally have not thought of wildfires happening it may, it, the incidents may increase. Yet another sign that climate change is one of the most serious issues facing mankind. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.